Yo, what is going on YouTube? Jordy here with Team Firespin, and I'm going to be showing you guys a Metal Flow ABC deck today. It is a, a new deck, of, as we know, the ABCs just came out yesterday, and uh, it's a new deck that I've been kind of messing around with for the past, like, two days, or I guess since yesterday, and um, it's actually really good. It's, it's, like, surprisingly really good, so I hope you guys enjoy, but let's jump into the deck profile, and I want to mention there is a couple of proxies in this deck, but... I have the cards coming in the mail, so I'll let you know which ones they are, and I'll also kind of let you know different things you can change in the deck, just depending on if you have a bigger budget and play desires, or just different things like that. There's a couple cards in the extra deck you can kind of switch around, but let's jump into the deck profile, and I'll kind of get to all that when we get going. So, for the Metal Foe part, um, it's pretty much standard. Everyone knows the Metal Foes. You play the 12, so you play the 3 full Wolf Flame. The three gold driver uh, as the higher eight and the higher uh, level one, or um, sorry, scale one. Uh, he's also the level four, which is really good. Um, and they all kind of they all do the same thing. So those are the like the rare ones, and then the the common ones are the silvered and stealing. Uh, he's also a scale one. He's also a scale eight. Uh, these two, and I guess also gold driver. Um, are the ones that you can actually search off of Painful Decision. So these are going to be like the more key ones. And then this guy actually uh, not only is a big beater, but he also helps you kind of go into a bunch of different things, well, one different thing in the extra deck, which is um, Big Eye. So those are the 12 that you need to play. Those are pretty standard. Everyone, everyone plays the 12. So uh, for the other, I guess for the last Pendulum card, it's just going to be the one Luster Pendulum. Uh, he... Helps you tutor through the deck and kind of get things going. Uh, sets up your extra deck, different plays. He can also help you go into Ignister with uh, the Gold Driver, so that's really cool. Uh, so he's actually really, really good in the deck. And Scale 5 is actually not too bad. If you don't open with a Scale 8, but you open with a Scale 1, and you kind of go off and do your little tutoring combo, can actually kind of help you instead of popping the Luster to kind of, as if you guys know, you Luster, another Pendulum, Luster the Pendulum goes to the extra deck you search, and then you normally will play the other Pendulum you search, pop the Luster, and get, like, two searches off the Metal Foes. But you can actually leave him up on board, and then, like, still Pendulum if the other scale is one, which is actually pretty good. So, um, he's actually pretty important in the deck. Um, the only thing, that, uh, the other thing that kind of, like, helps with all the normal monsters is the Rescue Rabbit. Uh, this is really good, a uh, really good normal summon if you have... Uh, Metal Foes Fusion in hand, or if you have Metal Foes Fusion set from a previous turn or anything like that, it's actually a really good just normal summon, put two on board, and then just immediately fusion. So the one rescue of it is really good. Plus he's level four. If you ever use him for another, like going into something else, if you don't play his effect or if you can't play his effect, so that's really good. Uh, he's a, he's a pretty good card. It helps kind of get the engine going. So that's it for the like Metal Foe part of the deck. Uh, for the ABCs, um, it's pretty given. There's going to be 3A, 3B, and 3C. So the 3A um, Assault Core, basically basically all three of them, they do pretty much the same thing. Um, they just kind of have different effects when they hit the grave. So um, for instance, they're all Union Monsters, so they can all equip to each other, um, which is pretty good. Uh, you can also... He's a 19 beater, which is really good. He's 15 and he's 12, but he has 2,000 defense. He has 18 defense. So they kind of all have like a purpose with their attacks and their defense. Um, he will allow you to special one from grave when he goes to grave, uh, including himself, which is pretty good. They all basically they all can touch their like they, whoa. <laughs> they all can target themselves, which is cool. Um, the Buster Drake, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows what these all do, but. Basically, when he goes to Grave, you can search your deck for a Union Monster, and then when uh, Crush Wyvern goes to Grave, you can special a Union Monster from hand. So, um, they they can all kind of do a lot of different things, and they kind of help each other out, and it's actually really good because they can all equip to each other and do different things, but when they are destroyed by the Metal Foe effects, they get their effects because they go to Grave. So, unless there's like a card saying you can't go to Grave, but um, for the most part, they work in tangent with the metal foes really well and they kind of just like tutor through the deck super quick so you play three of each of them to help you go into your uh, dra uh your dragon buster and different things like that so that's it for the abc part and then the last two monsters are two photon thrashers 
Uh, the reason this is good is because you can just special it for free if you don't have any monsters. Helps you get another rank 4 on the board, or another level 4 to go into rank 4 on the board. Um, he's also light, which is pretty good. I was actually playing a Rota in the deck to search for this, and then I cut the Rota for space. But uh, you can play Rota and search him, which is also really good. Um, 21 attack, which is also kind of relevant sometimes. But uh, he's just all around, just kind of helps you go through your deck. You can go into Tsukiyomi with him. Which, I'm not playing Tsukiyomi, but you can play Tsukiyomi. There's different things that the extra deck can kind of be switched around with. So, But he just he's just a good card. Helps, it helps everything kind of get going. So that's it for the monsters. There's kind of a lot, but it all works very well together. So uh, for the spells, we're playing the three Union Hanger. Um, this is kind of like the best first turn card in the deck, other than the three Terraformings to help you search for it. Uh, but basically what Union Hanger does, for y'all that don't know... It can, when it's activated, it's basically a Rota. Um, it can search you a Union Monster. And then, when you normal summon a Union Monster, you can, uh, or I guess, uh, specifically ABC Monster. I'll put this up for you guys right here. But uh, if it's a Light Machine um, you, Union Monster, normal or special, so if you Pendulum Summon, it actually works as well, you can um, equip one of them from the deck to the one that you just summoned. So... For instance, you can summon A with this up. Like, you can play this, search for A, and then summon him, and then, like, equip B from deck to him, which is really good. And then, if you have a Metal Foe, you can activate the Metal Foe in the Pendulum Scale, pop the A, A and B will both die, go to the grave, and then from there, they'll kind of play their effects and go off from there. So, that's why the Metal Foes are really good. And then, obviously, Terraforming just helps you search this because it's a field spell. So, you basically want to open one of those six cards uh, and a Metal Foe. In, in your first hand so that's it for the the like abc kind of portion unions um for the other spells we're playing the one metal Fuse fusion uh you guys know what this does you can set it you can fuse you can return it back to deck draw a card so that's pretty good uh the two painful decision these are some of the cards that i actually have coming in the mail so Unfortunately, they have to be proxies, but this card is just so, so good. It helps you tutor through all of your, well, most of your um, metal foes, gets them to hand, allows you to do different things, uh, gets you that either that high scale or that low scale, depending on what you have. So this card is just really good, uh, really, really helpful. You also want to see that first turn. Uh, and then to round off the spells, the two Twin Toasters. This could potentially be a side deck card, and you could play Painful Decision, or Painful Decision, I already had that, uh, Pot of Desires in place of this. You can keep this in. Uh, if you discard one of the A, B, or Cs, they will get their effects. Um, you can also use this against, like, because this deck is a lot of, like, spells. So, anti-spell fragrance is kind of a pain in the ass. And this will pop um, that. So, that's kind of, like, the, the way to get out of that. Uh, you can also play MST if you want. Um, MST is always a good option. But this card just kind of helps you uh, with the effects of, like, putting, like, ditching to grave and then getting their effects. So... Uh, it's good. You can switch this for Pot of Desires. You could even add Pot of Desires to this list. Uh, just add two or three straight into the deck and, and be fine because this is a 40 card deck. So uh, yeah, two Twin Twisters to round off the spells. So for the traps, it's pretty standard. Uh, we're playing the three Counter and then the one Vanity's Emptiness. So the three Counter are obviously going to be the go-to thing that you set whenever you activate one of the Metal Foes effects. Um, it's just a really good card. Basically, if one of your cards is destroyed by a card effect um, or by battle, you or so I guess like a monster, um, you can just immediately chain this and just special a metaphor from the deck. And then when it's in the grave, other than the turn it was sent there, you can remove it to add a face-up uh, metaphor pendulum from your extra deck to your hand. So kind of gets you back your scales. Uh, if you're missing a part of the scale, it will special one of those um, metal foes out of the deck to help you go into a fusion. Just a bunch of different things. This card is really good. I was playing two counters in one combination, but you don't fusion as much as you'd think you would in this deck. So I decided to switch the the combination out for a counter uh, to round to make those three. And then the one vanity's emptiness just works wonders. You know, guys, you guys know what this card does. It's just really good. So, but that is it for the main deck. Um, if you wanted to switch anything, uh, like I said, you can kind of switch around, play Pot of Desires. I unfortunately don't have Desires. Uh, I'm kind of poor, so I can't really afford those, but uh, you can play Desires in this deck perfectly fine. You play a lot of three ofs. Um, you can also play the combination if you would like, um, or more Metal Fusions, anything like that, really. Just kind of make it your own. So 
but let's jump into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, I have the two ABC Dragon Buster. Uh, this card is really, really strong. Uh, not only is it a 3,000 defense or 3,000 attack, uh, 28 defense, but it's really easy to make. Um, for all that don't know what ABCs do, if you have an A, a B, and a C either on your board, uh, they could be equipped as a union as well, on your board or in the graveyard, you can remove all three of them to special him for free. If I say for free, but it's just really easy uh, to do. And then you can discard a card to banish a card on the field. And then during other player's turn, if he were to be destroyed or anything like that, you can send him to the grave and then target the three things that there are, I guess, three uh, machine. I'm pretty sure it says machine union monsters. Uh, target banish three machine uh, light machine union monsters with different names and special summon them. So uh, that are removed from play. So. Basically, you make him, and then if they were to, in a way, it's kind of like Wind Up Rabbit. If they were to destroy it in any way or anything like that, you can just chain his effect, send him to grave, and then special the three things that make him right back out to the field. And then next turn, just remove them all and make another one. So he's just super good. Uh, he's really good first turn card. Um, being able to kind of like dodge things is really good. And uh, the the discard to banish effect is just so relevant. It pushes so many OTKs, and it's just just a great card just hands down a great card um for the other fusions we play two ori calc uh this is your double piercer uh super easy to make we also play one adamante uh adamante is just kind of like that other option um i've even considered playing three ori calcs but there's i mean like the other option is really nice um but those are basically the only metal foe fusions you play and then for the um the one proxy i do have in this is the uh gear Gigon x it's actually really easy to make, and it can search you pretty much all of your ABCs, which is really good. Um, the only thing about this, like, is, like, you could switch this for Tsukiyomi. You can switch this for just anything you really want. Another Utopia, because I do play the Utopia lineup. Um, but I am not currently playing Tsukiyomi. Tsukiyomi is really good in this deck. Um, but I am trying to fit it in. I'm trying to decide what I want to take out. I'm thinking I'm going to take out Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, but I'm not 100% on that yet. So, um, but yeah, the one Gear Gigant X, super good, super good card, searches you if you don't have an X, or if you have a way to go into rank 4, but none of them are ABCs, um, it can search you for one of those. So, super good. Uh, the generic stuff, you know, the Castell, the uh, the Dweller, the Emerald, the Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, these are basically like the standard rank fours uh diamond dire wolf is actually super good in this deck because of the fact that you're you're basically getting all of the effects of the abcs underneath him off which is really good uh so stops problems you can shuffle stuff back you can also um play his second effect which is, oh, i always love that if you can actually do emerald second effect and actually special and normal from grave so if you discard one of the um one of the metal foes or if you synchro or not synchro if you detach one of them and it goes to grave you can actually play as effect and get it back which is really good also shuffling back abcs and then drawing is also really good so and then those are just standards so standard rank fours uh this is the iffy rank four uh dark rebellion xyz is good because you get just two free detaches um and then he's just a beefy monster but this could be switched out for Sukiyomi, like i said i also have a Sukiyomi coming in the mail as well as the gigant x but uh, like I said, it's just all about testing and kind of figuring out the numbers that I want to play. So, but Dark Rebellion XYZ is just powerhouse, just basically gain a, attack and then just pop over something for whatever their attack is, or I guess for 25. So super good card. Um, and then the last rank fours is the Utopia, the Utopia Lightning. Uh, those are pretty much given in any rank four deck now. Uh, this deck can push out OTKs like pretty much every turn. So these are just helpful. Uh, they get you there pretty much. So you got to play those. Uh, and then the big eye for the two Volflames, flames, or I guess three Volflames, flames. Uh, I can make this really easily in the deck. Um, if the situation depends on it and I can take something really, really good, really good card. And then the last one is the Ignister, uh, Ignister just because I'm playing luster and you're playing pendulums. So you kind of need to play the Ignister, uh, just another super good card. So, that is it for the Metal Foes ABC deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's super, super fun, super consistent. If you guys do end up building this deck or any version of this deck, and you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. That'd be super cool. 
If you guys want to like the video, that'd be awesome. If we can break 10 likes on this video, that'd be sweet. I'll probably show you guys some combos for this video or for this deck. But uh, leave comments down below letting me know what you guys want to see. We've been doing a lot of deck profiles. Actually, that's really all we've been doing. But we want to branch out and kind of do a little bit more uh, card discussions and different things like that. I have a couple of cards I want to talk about that uh, I think are very good in the meta. Um, but that will be in a later video. So like I said, if you guys like the video, please give it a like. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching and peace.